right spot? Yes, I am. Okay. So there are four main things that for the sparrow decks to work have to be there. Everyone has to say their guess very quickly. Everyone has to say it out loud. Everyone needs immediate feedback and everyone needs lots of repetition. Now Llewellyn's sparrow decks themselves provide the, the training material and also the last two points, the immediate feedback and the repetition. As a facilitator, you need to ensure the first two. It's important to say the guests quickly to turn off the mental analysis. If you don't say it quickly, whoops, say or hello, stop that. Um, then I think I may have timing on, on my slides here, which I didn't mean to, but if you don't have it uh, uh, quickly, then you're going to have your mental analysis. We don't want that analytical mind going and a quick guess also avoids people influencing each other. So qu quick guesses are imp critically important. Um, if I'm in the room, I t if, it, if it's a room as opposed to a, uh, a remote one, I tend to raise and lower my arm. And when the arm comes down, everyone makes the guess at the same time. And that really helps uh, the aspect of not having, uh, you know, getting other people's opinion, making them your own, your own guess. I'm still experimenting on how to do this in a remote environment. Devs tend to be uh, embarrassed if they publicly demonstrate they, they don't know something. So it's really important to start with the Sparrow decks to be effective. And because no, they're not embarrassed about being wrong on birds. And you need, everyone needs to say things out loud. And that's, that's what they get embarrassed about. So start with the birds. Nobody cares if you recognize a house or a song sparrow uh, and away you go. Okay, some more things. Um, Llewellyn's blog, it's, it's part of your download the PowerPoint slides. I have not tried this on uh, uh, Google Slides. It might or might not work. Uh, because the, the use timing feature uh, that you can do with slideshow on uh, PowerPoint is critical to making this work. So I use PowerPoint for this. Um, you want to make sure that that use timings is checked. Uh, run your training to a large crowd wherever possible. This does not work usually to sit down with one person. Um, and just go over the deck. I've seen times that that's been okay, but usually it's not. Always, always start with the sparrows. Do not skip that. Um, and in order to I usually start run the, the sparrows a second time, as I did today. And I do that just to make sure that everybody's really comfortable. And sometimes I'll run the, as I uh, run also, the, the technical ones, the code smells a second time. And, and you'll find that your folks recognize how much faster they are the second time on that. And they feel good about it. Um, so today we have a number of people on both Zoom and, and Twitch. And the reason we did that is that I don't think that it supports a large number of folks. We didn't know exactly how many people we'd get on Zoom. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but that way, at least the folks on Twitch heard the voices on Zoom. So if that worked for you, you folks on Twitch, please let us know, put something in the chat. If it didn't, let us know that too. Okay, um,
can't emphasize enough how important it is to have everyone say their guesses quickly and out loud and to start with Song and House Sparrows. You'll notice I keep repeating that. And that's because intuitively, intuitive learning, you know, our perceptive learning does not happen if you don't do that. I like, as after Sparrows, start with a deck that's easiest. For me, that happens to be duplication. Your folks may be something else and then start with things that are next easiest. Um, I guess long lines might be easy, but there's, you noticed we had more debate on long lines than we did on duplication. Mm -hmm. um, whoops, we're not there yet. Also emphasize that it's okay to not get everything right. It's fine if you only get it 60 or 80% of the time. If Team members can now recognize something 60, 80% of the time that's a coat smell and they couldn't before. That's huge progress. And you may want to only run a few coat smells or things through your team at one time. This could be tiring. Does anybody feel a little tired after doing this? A little bit, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I feel a little sick. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe we should have run fewer of them. At least we're having a break now between now and doing the next thing. Um, and repeat next uh, decks as needed, and especially when you get new devs added to the team. So those are the things that I would focus on. Um, I do stuff. I'll save this slide for when we have questions. Uh, right now, we're going to move the folks on uh, Twitch to Zoom. Okay, Joel, how are we planning to do that? Should I just put a link yeah. up here for them? Yeah, so what, what we're going to do is, uh, if you go ahead and join our Slack, and that is uh, slack.cantonvoters.org, we will put a, I will make sure the Zoom link is in every channel. Actually, someone on our our group. Matt, can you go ahead and share that in our channels so yep. everyone can see it? And with that, Camille, I think it's, what, do you think it's appropriate time to wind up the Twitch, the Twitch stream? Well, hang on. Let me make sure that I put this on the Twitch stream so that people can see it because I can just bring up the Slack. Okay, yep. there we go. Do you see this for Zoom? Oh, they can just. You're, click you're actually frozen oh, somehow. Oh. Yeah, you're like, uh, I mean, Frozen? A peel away of your of your uh, presentation. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Strangely Hang warped. Let me. Uh, so let's see. New hey, shoe. Camille. Hang rather on. Rather than reveal the rather than reveal the the secret key on the Twitch chat. Okay. Do it in Slack, just because we there. I don't think we're a big target, but there's some people out there that would love to cut, show up and be kind of rude. Uh, oh, okay, so it's in Slack. Do you want me to show what I have in Slack? I no. can just show that. What? Yes, no? No, okay. no, thank you. Okay, I won't. All right. So, but, so Matt, Matt put it in the in the Canton coders, uh, general, just Canton coders. The and then we can, yep. we can put it also in announcements and in general. Yep. So, so first of all, let's, let's close out the Twitch chat. Camille? Okay. Does everyone know how to get to the Canton Coder Slack? Because I've got a number of uh, folks who said that they would join who are not part of Canton Coders from the DC oh, area. Oh, are those your uh, are those your friends in your other meetup? Uh, some of them are, and some of them are not. Some of them are just people I've worked with. Ah, so ah. in that case, how do we get that to them? Um, you know what? We're going to risk it. I'm going to type it into the Twitch chat. Okay. And, uh, and uh, yeah, hey Matt, can you put it in the Twitch chat? Yep. And, uh, and I will admit people. Uh, yeah. But, if, uh, anybody, if anybody acts like a nightmare, you can kick them out, right, Joel? So. All right. Yeah, use it again. So we got a couple of people. <laughs> cool. Joel, I, I want to thank you, Camille. First of all, I think everyone here learned something. Uh, I learned a lot, and I've gone through this. I've taught this. I learned more. So first of all, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. My and Twitter. if we want to get a hold of you, you're on Twitter at Agile Camille. Uh, yeah, hang on. I'll put that slide up a second. Where did I? Think I your screen's that? still frozen, though. My screen is still frozen. Hang on. There you go. Yep. Frozen now. Nope. 
Okay. Yeah. It's working. Doo -doo -doo. Cool. Okay. Our current slide. There we yep. go. Now you and in, uh, if, if you're new to Canton Coders, uh, we'll roll out a June schedule. This small thing called COVID-19 has kind of messed up our scheduling, but we'll be rolling out a schedule here the next week. Uh, I think in June you can look forward to either someone that has uh, was a resident thinker uh, for NYU and MIT on design thinking or a former Fortune 500 uh, CTO. And then we'll do some coding stuff on another meetup. So stay tuned, check out our Slack. You know I'm good at spamming people with information. Um, but Camille, we appreciate this. Thank you so much. And okay. we'll see the Twitch people on the inside. All Great. right, hang on. And I'll move to uh, move to that. Okay.